Yo everyone, G Loves Trains here and welcome to day 37 of my vlog series Exploring the North West by Train Now people keep saying to me, gee you've been to a lot of stations now Surely you've not got that many to go to still Well, we're definitely on the downhill trajectory now Let's put it that way <laughs> But today I am off to Halifi Wood, Bromley Cross, Entwistle, Darwin Ramsgreve and Wilpshire, Langho, Wally and Clivero. I think I was expecting like a 158 connected to a 153, but it's 150-006. Yes, a three carriage 150, which I still think is really odd to see. I will say a proper hi to that conductor when they come back down. <laughs> We're at Hall Itherwood, Halifwood, Hall Ithwood, or as I like to call it, Halithywood. Someone call the mispronunciation, please. Immediately stepping off the 150, I noticed we do have a Blackpool Tower right at. Oh my, we've got two. We have two Blackpool Towers outside of the station. There we go. And. It is actually lovely to see this station for once in the light. I've never been here before, but I used to ride from Blackburn to Bolton and obviously used to stop here when it was completely dark. It is absolutely chucking it down right now, but Halifi Wood is a northern only station and it's got two platforms and the reason you might not be able to see the other platform right now is because they are ridiculously staggered When you're at Halifi Wood you put your knickers on your head you put your knickers on your head you put your knickers on your head When you're at Halifi Wood you put your knickers on your head and you shout, Squishy Boobies! There's nothing too fancy at this station. No dot matrix, no ticket machine. Pretty much just a shelter which I've predominantly been in. Ducking from the rain and we're getting on the next train. 150-003. I'm at Bromley Cross. It's got northern trains, two platforms and a beautiful looking signal box. First things first, I'm off to a little Sainsbury's because I love a little Sainsbury's me. Oh, I'm going to be bloody soaked. I really need some food though. worst little Sainsbury's for vegans I've ever been to. I was literally walking around with a loaf of bread and a pack of vegan ham flaps but then I looked to see if there were any more shops coming up today and there is so I was like let's just put them back and then I've come out I've walked in completely the wrong direction I'm absolutely drenched let's go back to the station the right way this time Just trying to somewhat dry off, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Bromley Cross is a lot more modern than Halifi Wood. It's got the ticket machines and the dot matrixes. Next stop is Entwistle, which is of course a request stop, and I'm gonna request it before I get on to 150.004, because I have noticed today that the conductors are not coming now, ticket checking. The 004 on that 150 looks a little bit dodgy and that's not dodgy at all. Um, but yeah, walking through those free coach 150s, it's an absolute maze to get to the toilet. I'm like, where the free, I never know which coach it's in. Twistle, it's a request stop. 
It's one platform and sees northern trains. <laughs> Problem, looking for a station sign for the station selfie and there isn't one. There's just the one with the red background. It'll have to do. It is hammering it down and we've got a reservoir and a viaduct to go and walk to. But for a request stop, Entwistle, it's got a dot matrix, it's got the shelter which isn't leaking at all, brilliant. It's got some plantage and some information boards. And there's even a ticket machine as well. I mean, this is more modern than Halithi Wood, again. This does make for a wonderful walk. It is just such a shame about the weather. Purely just because I need to watch that the rain doesn't completely destroy my camera. <laughs> We're deep in the woods, but it's here! Entwistle Viaduct, which we just passed over on the train before we got off. This is absolutely stunning. I'm just gonna very quickly carry on a little bit and see if I can get some sort of a selfie with it. Love a good viaduct. Oh yes, I found a bridge that crosses over the reservoir way -o, way -o, way -o. And on this side, we have got a far better view of the viaduct now. And there is a train due in a couple of minutes. I am now going to absolutely have to bomb it back to the station to make our train. But hey, it's not raining as well. Oh, frick. I'll see you at Darwin. And I'm at Darwin. Just got off 150.005. Is this station on a slight curve? And I can actually go and get some food properly now because there is an Asda nearby. Okay, that was like the smallest Asda I have ever been in and there's Freckle in there for me. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna try Lidl. This is turning into a supermarket vlog, but I've never shopped at Lidl before. Honestly, if you're a vegan and you're ever riding down this route, just bring your own food. I'm left having to dip biscuits in couscous. I'm just like doused in a mix of sweat and rain right now. And I am really ill too, but coming out filming is just taking my mind off it. Is a lovely looking northern station with its two platforms. There's some circular stickers along the fence of that platform. Oh, there's a few on here as well. Throw love around like confetti. Love, 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 love. I'm on 150.006, I'm in the little compartmenty bit, which is very, very warm. We're just going into Blackburn, and no matter what train service I'm on, I always get very confused which way we enter and exit Blackburn Station. I can never get it in my head. But it'll be nice to go back to Blackburn again sometime soon. Oh wait, I'm going on the return journey. stations I've not only not been to before but I've never actually seen them because 
This is my first ever time riding the Clitheroe route. We're at Ramsgreave and Wilpshire, and that does take time to remember the name of this station. <laughs> it's a northern only station, and it does have two platforms. They have extended these platforms, but never mind that. I want to go walk over the bridge over there. Along the stepped ramp leading you outside of the station, there is a story along the side of it, which, to be honest, I only started reading halfway through. This is the coolest looking ticket ever. Where can I get one of these and how much will it cost? Oh, what a cute Ickle Station car park. But seriously, I would recommend just coming to this station to look at the posters. They're <laughs> very eye-catching. How on earth am I going to do this? This is actually really tasty. A bit nothing like. There's a lot of birds at this station as well. No, not the blonde fit kind. These right here, which all have really positive, inspirational words upon them. This one down here, unfortunately, has been beheaded. I think it was supposed to say hope, but because the top of it's missing, it now says, well, the P.E. is missing. Freak me down, this is stunning. Just got off 150.003 and I'm now at, rhymes with mango, Lang, it's missing the PE, Lang Ho. Lango's got Northern trains and two platforms, which are staggered. And pay no attention to the building site on this side. It is very Cumbria-esque. Mind you, Lancashire is very beautiful as well. I've never seen a bin that looks like this before. Langho is up there in my non-existent, but let's pretend I have one, list of stations of beauty. I am very taken by this station. Next train, it's 150.004, and it's time for another round of guess which carriage the toilet's in, and I never get this right. It was a really scenic ride down here just then, and blimey, look at that hill. I'm at Wally, Wally, whatever. It's run by Northern Trains and it's got two platforms. About to go have a wonder to the River Calder, was just looking on this map to see if I could find the way. And it does say there's a viaduct here as well. 
In thinking about it, the railway line did just pass over the viaducts on the way to get here. And I was just going to point this out as well because when we were pulling into the station, there were like do not alight signs along this bit here. I don't know what's down here. I'm intrigued to know. Come on. Oh, it's a set of stairs. Ta da! I think we can get down this way. Wally is the viaduct is over there, absolutely gorgeous. I mean, when I did step off the train, I was a bit like, there's a lot of youth around here. And speaking of which, they've just lobbed supermarket trolleys into the river. <laughs> but apart from that, on the final train is 150.005. The toilet's right near us. Would you believe it's eight minutes to Clitheroe? I thought it would be less. I'm at Clear Hero. Clitheroe. I've got to be careful with that one before I get banned off YouTube for life. It's a Northern only station with two platforms in it. Now you might think because Clitheroe is a terminus there would be a buffer stop here but there's not the line carries on I found this really odd but only on a Sunday trains continue up the Ribble Valley line to Hellifield a Sunday a Sunday I was wondering whether the train we just got off would have just sat here and then gone straight back down on that line or whether it would have gone out of the station to turn around up there somewhere and then come back on the other platform and that is what happened. I found the cliff thorough sign. It's right here. I am the hero of the cliff. They call me the Cliff Hero. That small segment of no pavement road just reminded me of my hellish walk in Bridge End. River Ribble, Brungley Bridge. I actually thought today I may have my first ever ride, to my knowledge, on a Northern Class 153. But all the 158s connected to 153s seem to have been replaced by the three coach 150s. However, in saying that, to my knowledge again, I don't think I've ever had a ride on a three coach 150 before. So hey, at least I've done that now, over and over again. And riding up this line for the first time to Cliveroe, I would do again in a heartbeat. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Bye, bye.